if I start my day with a powerful fast vinyasa it just helps my monkey mind actually go faster and what I'm trying to do is ground myself in the moment so that I can make better choices throughout my day hello friend and welcome to your morning practice I'm Laia I want to share with you a slow flow to start your day in a way that feels grounded and aligned in order to make better decisions throughout your day yourself to a comfortable seated position rest your hands on your lap or your knees and then roll your shoulders back and down lengthening your spine taking a moment to settle in move your head from side to side looking at the space that you're in and arriving into your day eventually you can soften your gaze or close your eyes and we'll take three breaths together so inhale through your nose allowing your belly your ribcage and your chest to expand. Exhale through your nose, allowing your body to settle and relax just a little bit. Inhale, expand a little. Exhale, soften. One more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Giving yourself this moment to become aware of your surroundings. Maybe you hear sounds of nature or people or the world awakening around you. And you start to draw your attention closer to yourself, letting the world be as it is and giving yourself this time to practice and to connect to yourself before you move into the world. Inhale through your nose. Sigh it out. Inhale, lift your chin, opening through the throat. Exhale, lower your chin down toward your chest, opening through the back of the neck. Inhale again, lift your chin any amount. Exhale, lower it down. One more inhale. Exhale. Bring your neck back to neutral, ground through your sitting bones and through your seat. Lengthen all the way through the crown of your head. And on your inhalation, start to take your arms out and up. Interlace your hands overhead, flip your palms toward the sky and stretch through the side body. Breathe in. Breathe out, release your hands down to the floor next to you, or if your hands don't reach the ground next to you, you can always grab your blocks here, feeling the connection of the fingertips to the surface, the sitting bones to the surface, and the length all the way to the crown of your head. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your right ear toward the right shoulder. Back through center as you inhale. Take the other ear to the shoulder as you exhale. Bring your neck back to neutral and on your inhalation, reach your arms up. This time, connect your palms and on your exhalation, draw your hands together in front of your heart, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears and see if you can create pressure with your hands here, relaxing your shoulders a bit more. Breathe in, breathe out. Open your arms out to the sides, inhale. Exhale, cross your right arm over your left. Bring your hands toward opposite shoulders or if you rather, bring the backs of the arms or the palms to connect, coming into eagle arms. Continue to ground through your sitting bones, lengthening through your spine and stay here. Or maybe take tiny circles with your elbows in front of you, creating some sensation through the shoulders and the arms perhaps. Breathe in. Breathe out to pause. Switch directions if you're doing circles. Inhale. And exhale. Pause once again, release the bind, open your arms wide, inhale. Feel the stretch from fingertips to fingertips. Exhale, take the opposite arm over now. And then take your hands toward opposite shoulders and stay here if the sensation suffices today. Or to explore something different, perhaps you bring the backs of the hands toward one another or the palms to connect. 
Notice the difference between keeping your elbows resting toward your chest and maybe lifting them up. And if you want to create movement, feel free to do so now. Taking a couple of circles one way and then a couple of circles the other. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release the bind, open your arms wide, lift your chest, perhaps lift your gaze, inhale. Exhale, lower your hands behind you. Walk them as far back as you want to feel the connection with the earth, lifting your heart here. And maybe you stay, or for some of us, maybe you want to lift your hips forward as little or as much as you want, but it's not necessary. Inhale. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold forward. You can take your arms around and maybe the hands are on the floor and your head relaxes down. You could also use one of your blocks or both to lift the earth up toward you. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhalation, bring yourself back up from the fold and start to bring yourself toward a tabletop position, coming into hands and knees. If your knees are sensitive, you can always bring a blanket underneath and your hands can be underneath your shoulders with your fingers spread wide and solid on the earth. Or to keep your wrists out of the picture for today, feel free to make fists with your hands. Now here I invite you to move your hips a little side to side or perhaps create circles with your hips and your body. Just let your movement be a little bit slower than the cadence of your breath. So it is the breath that invites the movement and not the other way around. If you're making circles, make sure that you go both ways. One more inhale. And as you exhale, pause at the center, noticing yourself stable and grounded in your tabletop once again. Tuck your toes under and send your hips back toward your heels until you start to feel a sensation through the soles of your feet. For some of us, that may mean that the hands stay on the ground. Or maybe you start to walk them closer toward your knees. You could even take your hands to your thighs and elevate your torso. Let the discomfort that arises be only as much as you want to handle today. So as soon as the sensation is too much, consider if you want to come out of the shape. Or maybe you take one more breath, inhale, and on your exhalation, slide forward, lift your toes off the floor and take a couple of circles with your ankles one way and then the other, and then bring your tops of the feet back to the floor. Hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, lift your tailbone, dip your belly, look forward or up. Exhale, round your back, gazing down toward your navel. Inhale, arc again, lifting into cow pose. Exhale, round into cat pose. One more, inhale. And exhale. Bring your spine back to neutral in your tabletop. And on your inhalation, reach your right leg be behind you. You can flex your foot or point your toes, depends on what sensation you're trying to achieve here. And on your exhalation, draw your right knee toward your chest and bring your right foot between your hands, giving it a little bit of help with your right hand if you need or if you want. Plant your right foot firmly onto the floor and your left fingertips could be on the floor or on a block. Inhale, start to reach your right arm forward in front of you, follow it with the gaze and then circle it all the way around. And then bring it down next to you on the floor or on a block. You could stay here or on your next inhalation, sweep both arms straight up. Perhaps you follow with the gaze again. And as you exhale, circle both arms to the sides and all the way down, and then frame your right foot with both hands. Bring your right leg back to meet your left. Find yourself in tabletop and move your hips side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhalation, find stability. Reach your left leg behind you. And as you exhale, take your left knee to your chest, left foot between your hands. Give yourself a moment to find stability. And on your inhalation, ground into your right hand, reach your left arm forward, and then circle it around, follow with your gaze. And then slowly bring your left hand down to whatever support you choose, whether that's the blocks or the floor is up to you. 
And on your inhalation, stay or lift your chest, sweep your arms straight up. And on your exhalation, circle them out and down, finding that connection with your breath. Send your left leg behind you next to your right. Inhale, this time shift your weight forward, coming toward a knee plank. And on your exhalation, lower yourself down to your abdomen. Maybe take a, taking a moment to make a pillow with your hands here and resting your forehead down. Wiggle your hips side to side, breathe in and breathe out. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, squeeze your elbows back to the sides of the rib cage. Inhale, slowly lift your chest for cobra. You don't have to go very high. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift back up, finding space with the front body. Exhale, lower down. Slide your hands a little further back toward the hips if you want to create a deeper back bend. And as you inhale again, lift up. And as you exhale, take your hips back, find your tabletop. Or maybe this time as you tuck your toes, you lift your hips up and back and you find a downward facing dog. Breathe in. Side out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gaze toward the top of your mat, soften your knees. Exhale, take as many steps as you'd like to get to the top. Your hands could be on the floor, on the blocks, on your shins. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, flat back. Exhale, soften your knees and let yourself fold. Again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Catch opposite elbows, let yourself sway from side to side for a moment. Maybe you'd rather give yourself a little hug. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands back to the floor in front of you or your blocks. Lengthen your spine. Ground into your right foot. And as you inhale, start to slide your left toes behind you. They can stay on the ground here or start to float, but keep your chest parallel to the floor. And on your exhalation, slowly lower your left foot down and fold again. Inhale, lift halfway, ground into your left foot. Hover your right toes, slide them back, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, lower your right foot next to your left and fold. Inhale, rise up, stretch your arms out and up. Perhaps you take a back bend, looking up. Palms unite overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, fold all the way back down. Hands to your blocks or the floor. Inhale, flat back, frame your right foot with your hands or the blocks. Float your left toes behind you. Exhale, bend your standing leg, your right leg, and step your left toes all the way back, lowering your left knee to the floor, and frame your right foot with your hands or the blocks. Stay here, or as you inhale, take your arms out and up, moving slowly as if you were moving through honey. Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart. Frame your right leg with both hands. Take your right leg straight behind you. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, move your left foot a little to the left, right toes land on the floor, send your right arm straight up or over your right ear for this modified side plank. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Stay on your tabletop or maybe take your hips up and back, downward dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, gaze forward, soften your knee. Exhale, take as many steps as you'd like to get to the top. Flat back to inhale and fold as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen, ground into your left foot, hover your right leg behind you. Exhale, bend your standing leg and very slowly land your right toes as far back as feels good and eventually lower your right knee down to the floor. Inhale, take your arms out and up for your Anjanayasana, your low lunge. Exhale as the palms unite overhead, draw the energy down, down, down through the center. Framing your left leg with your hands. Inhale, take your left leg behind you. Pivot your right foot to the right, left toes come down. Inhale, take your left arm straight up or overhead, coming into a knee side plank. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left hand down, left knee down. Shift your weight forward for a knee plank. Or if you'd rather, you could tuck your toes and lift your knees for a plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down knees, chest, chin, or slowly for five. Four, three, uh -huh, two, one, hover. Inhale, lift your chest for your cobra or your up dog. Find space to the front body. Exhale, take your hips back for your tabletop or if you rather, 
Once again, take Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice your feet, your hands, whatever parts of your body are in contact with the earth. Noticing the stability of being here and now, making choices that serve you. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your knees down to the earth. Perhaps bring a block between your heels if that feels good in your body and sit back onto your heels as you rest your hands on your lap. Or maybe you bring one hand to the abdomen and one hand to your heart. And as you notice your heartbeat, the way in, the, in which the energy is moving through you, and also the way in which you're talking to yourself through this practice. And without any judgment, just with love and compassion toward yourself, I invite you to, from this place, ask yourself, what is it that I need today? What is this practice inviting me to explore, do more of, try? Or perhaps you ask yourself, what can I release today? even if it's just for a little while. What is this moment inviting me to put down so that I can feel lighter, more authentic, more ready for what's to come in my life? Take a deep breath in, side out. Release your arms, move yourself back toward your tabletop or your downward facing dog. I'll do the first side in tabletop. You do what works for you. Inhale, take your right leg back. Exhale, bring your right knee to your chest, right foot between your hands. Left knee can stay down or you can lift it up. On your inhalation, lift your arms out and up overhead, finding space through the front body. And on your exhalation, bring your palms together in front of your heart and take your chest forward. Now, if your knee is down, you can feel free to stay here and reach your arms forward and play here with core strength. If your knee is lifted, take a few steps forward until you feel solid onto your right leg. And then if there's a wall near you, perhaps you bring your hands to your wall and then from there you practice your warrior three. Or maybe you take some time here to find the stability to float your left leg behind you. If you're wobbly, can you embrace the wobbliness just for now? If you fall out, maybe you laugh a little. <laughs> One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, lower your left toes back down behind you. Reach your arms all the way up. Maybe your gaze lifts up, inhale. Exhale from your right foot with both hands. Now hover your right leg behind you. Your left knee may be down or not. Bend your right knee, inhale. Exhale, pivot to the outer edge of your left foot. Right toes land behind your left knee. And on your inhalation, left arm comes up or over your ear, right arm rather, inhale, exhale, bring your right hand back down, make your way back to your tabletop or your downward facing dog, take a deep breath in, side out, one more, inhale, exhale, from tabletop or downward dog on your inhalation, lift your left leg back, and on your exhalation, take your left knee to your chest. Step your left foot between your hands. And if your right knee is on the ground, start to lift it up, if that serves you today. And on your inhalation, bring yourself all the way up, taking your arms out in a big circle. The palms unite overhead. And then draw the energy in your palms in front of you, finding more stability and more presence. Perhaps reminding yourself of this intention you've set for your practice and for your day. And then lean forward, ground into your left leg, and perhaps take a couple steps forward until you find yourself grounded enough to float into your warrior three. Noticing your breath first and foremost. Noticing how you talk to yourself about what's going on right here. Breathe in. And then soften your standing leg. Right toes come back down behind you. Inhale, take your arms slowly out and up. Again, moving slowly through honey. Exhale, 
Hands frame your left foot. Float your left leg behind you in a plank or a knee plank. And then pivot yourself to the right. Left toes land behind your right knee. Inhale, take your left arm up or overhead. And then as you exhale, lower your left hand and bring yourself to child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. And send your hips back toward the heels, forehead to the earth or to your block. Take a deep breath into your back body. Side out. One more. Inhale, fill up your entire body. Side out, feel free to make sound. <sighs> Notice how you feel right here, right now. And consider one choice that you can make today that helps you align with this intention, that helps you reconnect with yourself, that helps you slow down when you see, speed yourself up, that helps you reconnect with your truth. Deep breath in, side out. Slowly press yourself up, bring yourself to a seated, comfortable position. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees. If it resonates with you, bring both palms together in front of your heart and bow your head. Taking a moment of gratitude to your body for allowing you to move, to your mind, to your life. And perhaps you take this moment to be grateful for one, two, three, or 20 things, or to reinstate your intention, or reshape it if you must. Breathe in. Breathe out. And once you're ready, release your hands and open your eyes. I hope that you've enjoyed this practice and that you have a beautiful, grounded, and present day. Remember to come back to this flow any morning where this is the energy that you need to be present, to be focused, to be aware of what you want to do and how you want to move through your life. Until next time, take care and be well.